All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the capitulation that has happened in the crypto markets, what I'm doing with yield farming and using the Binance Smart Chain. Has my strategy changed moving forward? I will give you guys all that information in this video, exactly what I'm doing to still make some profits in this down market. And where I think this market is going from here, can we recover and what trends and chart patterns I am looking at. So all that and more in this video, make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire video. So firstly, I'm going to look at the Binance coin price here. And yeah, I told you guys to watch out for the dip. I didn't think we would dip this much. We actually came down to this support line here, this orange line, and we've been bouncing off of that. And we just recently moved under it a little bit there. So we're on a lower low on the Binance coin price. And if you just historically go back to when we have lower lows, here's a lower low. You can see the pump right after. We can even go back through the chart to find some other lower lows. There isn't that many, to be honest. Here's another lower low right there. And we get a nice pump after that. There's a lower low, another pump. So lower lows really lead to pumps, as you can see another lower low, okay? So this is something to just be patient on and don't panic. Don't panic sell. You know, yes, if you want to consolidate some of your positions and move them into positions that are performing better, that's what I did. I really liquidated a lot of my shitcoin positions and a lot of those altcoins. I am holding some ones that I still believe in that have good fundamentals and good market cap and liquidity. I am still holding some. But I did liquidate a bunch of them to just get rid of some because I had just been in too many things, to be honest, especially with yield farming. I'm being much more selective on these farms. I'm not getting into any more new farms. I have consolidated into three main farms, Octree, Panther Swap, and Doppel Finance. Those are my three, and then I have Wise Token that I'm staking. Those are my four. I'm not really going into anything else right now. That's all I'm doing because, to be honest, it really was too time-consuming and too stressful to sit there and look at all these other projects and go, I mean, this is supposed to be passive. This is supposed to be a side hobby for me, and it was really taking up too much time, to be honest. I mean, I can't go and collect from 20 different farms every day. That's just not fun. It's, it's just not fun for me to do that, and you're spending a lot of gas. I was spending a lot of gas. So I consolidate. I'll show you guys what I'm doing with that moving forward. Um, but I just want to show you the Binance coin price to not panic. You know, from this indicator here that I use, it's kind of an oscillator indicator. And we are in recovery mode. We are definitely getting in recovery mode. If you look at historically on this, you know, when we do touch this, we, you know, historically do recover. And we really haven't hit these price levels in a long time, as you can see. You know, this was a capitulation back here for Binance Coin. This was actually back in 2020 for the COVID type crash. And that's when we had that. But then look what happened right after that. We continue to just skyrocket through the next year all the way up here, you know, 7,000%. All right. So is that in the cards? We will have to see. But for right now, it's definitely not panic time. You know, it's not panic time. Don't sit there and liquidate all your BNB. And, you know, I'm still yield farming some. Like I said, I change up my strategy. Crypto changes so fast, guys. You can't just stay stuck in your same strategies. Some of them, yes, but you have to be able to adapt and change strategies eventually. So let me show you. I haven't showed this actually in a very long time. All right, guys. So I want to show you guys the patterns I've been following here for the Bitcoin price. Because I have a very original and very interesting way that I draw patterns and use these indicators, especially these Fibonacci sequences and different things to see trends in the market. Because you can't just chart like everybody else because that's what everybody else is looking at. You have to look at something different. Okay, so I have a bunch of different bar trend patterns here. So kind of follow along. I know it's kind of jumbled at the moment. But where we are, we are right here in this red zone heading into the green zone. Judging by the bar trend patterns, we are going to see a recovery. However, judging by history, when we get into these green zones, all right, so notice, this is a red zone, okay, red zone, heading into a green zone, we get a consolidation, and then a pump, okay,
Okay, even back here, red zone, green zone, consolidation, then a pump. Okay, even going back this far here to 2018, red zone, green zone, consolidation, pump. All right, so what do you think is going to happen this time? We could have the same trend, guys. We could have the same thing happening for the Bitcoin price. We could see a potential consolidation and then a pump. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. I do think we're going to break all-time highs at some point this year. And we're going to pass this zone here. Because another thing, and I really should have been paying more attention to my own chart. Sometimes I... Don't even pay attention to my own chart, which I should because some of this mad scientist drawing really actually comes to fruition. So you can see this was the all-time high, guys. And just in coincidence, and just to show you how pretty good I am at drawing these things, is I'm going to show you that look when we hit this blue Fibonacci ring. Can you guys see this? I'm going to try to zoom in better. All right, so right here, this is the all-time high right there 64,000 okay so what happened when we hit the all-time high we barely touched this Fibonacci ring see that see that touch of this ring we have never touched this we had never touched this throughout this time period except let me scroll let me zoom out as much as I can except one other time and this is gonna be pretty interesting so Follow this, it's this line here. See this blue line? That's the one we're following. Okay, so try to follow it. It's still right there. It's right here. Okay, it's right here. So follow it all the way around and look at that. The first bull run, we went up and we actually went through that line and then we fell down under that line and we stayed under that line until the next pump. Okay, notice next pump. This is the line right here, same line, 2.618. Look at this. This is when we had the capitulation and the pump. What happened? We hit this line. We broke through it. We, we were consolidating up and down, and then we tested it again, and then we broke under and had a bear market. And then we've never really come out of that until we had a huge breakout. Look, we were always staying ping pong underneath. And then right here, November, October 2020. That's when it all changed. We broke out of that line. We pumped up. We had a huge run until we hit the other side of that ring because these rings are circular, guys. There's a ring on the bottom and there's a ring on the top. So we broke through the bottom one. But what happened was we hit the top one and we did not find support and we immediately crashed. Okay. So again, we found a lower low and consistently for Bitcoin, look, lower low here, pump, lower low, pump, lower low, pump, lower low. We haven't had the pump yet a little bit, you know, because this was technically the lower low at 30K. Right now, we have a very long way to go. We definitely could see some more consolidation and, you know, that's going to change everything, especially the BNB price and all those other coins. We could see another you know, I don't know, 10 to 20%, that would be kind of steep. That would, yeah, that would hurt. That would hurt, but it would only be temporary. It would only be temporary. So if you're trading on high leverage, if you're lending your crypto with a possible liquidation price, you know, this could be a risk. So this isn't the time to go long yet. I'll, I definitely am tracking this and I know exactly when I'm going to go long. I'm planning a big long trade with high leverage very, very soon. I've been tracking it, I've been waiting, and I'm going to share with you guys when I'm going to do that. I'll make a video, but yeah, I don't trade on leverage, if ever, And but when I do find big trends and big patterns, I I'm going to trade. Like, I should have been more paying more attention to this one, I should have shorted. That was just an easy short, especially heading into this red zone here. And yeah, guys, we're going to go, <laughs> I'm going to make a big trade soon. And I'll make a video for you guys then. So that's just what I'm looking at as far as the charting goes. Okay, so now let's dive into what I've been doing with the yield farming. Okay, so like I said, consolidated a bunch of my shit coins. Okay, I'm just holding the ones that I truly believe in. All right, truly believe in. Moonlight, this one has a utility behind it. 
you can get signals with that as well. Same with Supernova, Saturn V Gold, that one just, I like that project, so I'm holding that one. And I'm holding projects that have good liquidity to their market cap, not ones that are under 10% and barely have any liquidity backing their market cap, okay? So I've consolidated a bunch of these, but some of these, you know, they're still holding on and they still have some value. So I'm gonna hold some to diversify. But as far as yield farming goes, we're sticking to three right now, that's it. I have my Octree position that I've had for a long time in the Oak Mining. That one's pumping me out profits. That one's earning around, you know, $12 to $15 a day for this one here, all right, for Octree. And I have over $2,000 right now in the liquidity staking, okay? So what I did was I took all the other farms that I was in, Pancake Bunny, and actually I got out of Pancake Bunny at the perfect time, luckily, and I sold all my cake and Wex. I got out of Wex. I got out of all those other farms the Guardias, the Gator Swaps, all those other pretenders. And I put it all into Panther Swap because Panther Swap, I am very, very bullish on. And let me tell you why. Because not only is this a deflationary token, so anytime there's a transaction with Panther, the supply decreases and a lot is burned. Okay, unlike Cake and unlike these other clones that claim they burn the tokens themselves, this token gets burned on the blockchain and it's coded into the smart contract to do that. Okay, so not only that, but they actually have their own exchange, their own Panther decks with their own liquidity backing this. This is not just routed through PancakeSwap. This is not just some other copy and paste clone. They have their own exchange with their own liquidity. So that's big. That puts them up there with the bakery swaps and those other type of swaps. Not only that, but they are going to have IPO offerings where they're going to have People come in like this one, Auto Shark. Okay, and actually this one already happened, I think. Auto Shark. So that one did happen recently. Okay. And they're gonna have more IPOs. Alright, so this is pretty good. Um, also their farms have been very good with farming, as you can see. I'm in this one, Panther to BNB liquidity. And the Panther token has been holding up really the best in this entire correction phase. It's been holding up better than cake. It's been holding up better than most of these projects. All right, guys. And so right now you can still get over 2% a day on your liquidity. Okay. So I put all of my liquidity in here. It was much more than this. It was about $10,000 at the time. So yes, it has dipped. It has dipped. But right now I'm earning, you know, over $100 a day with this. So I'm going to just continue to stack this up and I'm going to continue to farm this because I'm very bullish on Panther. I think once we see the recovery in the market, Panther could easily go back up to $5, at least 4 to $5 range. That's where this coin should be. That's where this coin's value is. You can see the total value locked just continues to grow, even in a down market. You know, if BNB was back up to $600, this would be close to half a billion, if not over half a billion. So guys, let's look at some of the analytics with the Panther token. All right, this is the really cool thing about Panther Swap is they show you everything you need. And this is just one I've been, I'm going to stake my flag in the ground for this project. All right, because not only has liquidity just continued to go up, the volume has continued to go up. All right, so we're getting mass volume. Some of these prices are actually better. You can actually get better prices on Panther Swap versus Pancake Swap. So you have to really check the prices and yeah, they do have a good amount of liquidity, guys. Really good amount of liquidity. You can see their Panther token. They have 31 million liquidity. That's close to, if not over, 50% of their market cap. All right, so they have a lot of great volume. All right, liquidity, 36. So the Panther BUSD, 36 million. Panther BNB, look at that. That's a ton. Dude, that's almost, that is almost 100% of the market cap backing this. So this is what I want to see, guys. This is something that, I'm going to be holding and be able to farm. I don't want to jump from farm to farm and, you know, collect profits for two days and then get out and then try to be first, try to be early. You know, I don't, I'm sick of doing that. I'm done with that crap. And it really gets annoying when I see other YouTubers in the space just constantly farm after farm, this farm after this farm. It's like, come on, don't you see what you're doing? You're diluting your own profits. If we just stayed into one farm, we would make so much more money. 
you know, than all these other clones and supporting these other fake clone projects. You know, I'm supporting Panther Swap because they are original. They are something legitimate and I think they can last a very, very long time. All right, so I'm going to continue to farm this. Of course, things change, but right now, this is what I'm doing, guys, because this is making me the most money. Why am I going to put my farms and all these other farms and pay gas fees to farm this and have to worry about all these other farms? I just want to keep it simple. I want to keep it simple. Octree, Panther Swap, and Doppel Finance. Doppel Finance has been on absolute tear. I'll show you guys the price. This was actually, this coin was actually pumping when all other coins in the market were on a dip. And that is very bullish for me for Doppel Finance because they have some interesting stuff here. Like I said, it's a stable coin exchange. So you get the best rates on stable coin exchanges. And yeah, guys, they have farms and everything else. They have this dolly feature. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I am farming these two pools. Okay, I'm farming right now this BNB to Doppel pair, earning 1% a day, and I am farming Doppel to BUSD because I think this is, if you want the safest farm right now to hedge against market volatility and the BNB coin price dumping, this pair is the one you want to look at. Okay, BUSD to Doppel. Because Doppel has been doing extremely well. Now, we had a huge pump. This gave me a lot of bullish indicators. Look at the buy volume right there. I mean, that's crazy. Look at that. I mean, that shows me that there is some big whales looking at this project. All right, look at that. That thing pumped over 100%. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. All right. So I'm looking at this. And this, this keep in mind, this happened when all the other markets were down 20%, if not more. And Doppel is kind of the outlier. So for me, this is very bullish. And I'm definitely holding this one. So... These are my main three. I'm all in on these three and I'm not adding any more yield farming. Okay. If I want to get into any other projects, I'm going to get in some, into something else outside of Binance Smart Chain, outside of these type of projects. So that's what I'm looking forward to guys. And then also Wise Token. Wise Token, just because I got in the pre-sale, they have backed their Wise Token to liquidity. So they have much more liquidity than their token value. So this is pretty safe as far as I'm concerned transparent team we have a lot of stuff with this one so if you did buy wise in the pre-sale you're going to want to come over here and click claim wise and you claim your wise tokens and then if you want to stake them you go over here to stake wise tokens so staking right now they're offering bonuses if you do a 365 day stake okay if you do 365 day or more you will get part of this airdrop in 18 days so right now i'm going to get nine dollars for free just by staking these tokens. You can see I have one stake here for 100 days, and then I did another one to get in this airdrop for 368 days, okay, or actually 369. All right, so that one is earning, you know, pretty good amount. And yeah, I'm gonna get my wise tokens back at the end, plus the interest, and then plus this airdrop. So those are the four that I am using. This one is more long-term, just staking. These three are daily earning passive income yield farming okay so that's what i'm doing and then just holding some of my shitcoin positions still the ones that actually have some use case and some staying power i'm going to continue to hold them and just you know i might liquidate i might liquidate if one's underperforming i don't like the way the market cap looks i don't like the way the liquidity looks i will liquidate those in a heartbeat and just hold some more busd and wait for the time to buy so that's really what i've been doing guys that's my strategy you know, I've been kind of just taking a break from the whole crypto scene. Like I said, crypto to me is just a side hobby. It is just something to do on the side. It's not a full-time venture at all. Because if you really try to live off of crypto and use that as your full-time income, that is the most stressful thing. I used to do that. I used to do that. I will be honest. Those that know this channel know that I did that for about a year. And it's just, it is way too stressful. It is way too up and down. And it's not reliable yet. This industry is way too small, it's way too volatile, and it's way too new to rely on it. So have a stable job, have stable fiat earnings. If you want to take some of those fiat earnings and buy crypto to hodl, that's a great way. And then use some of those hodlings to get into these type of projects, to passive yield farming. And yeah, just go from there because you don't want to just stress yourself out and have to sell on the dips and sell at the bottoms and buy the tops. 
that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to do it at all. So guys, if you guys like this video, I consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you're doing in this crazy market with some of this volatility. Let me know what your strategy is because I'll be interested to hear about it. I just, I just made the decision, guys. I just, I saw Panther being somewhat stable, this Panther coin price. I really like the Panther swap exchange. I like what they're doing with the IPOs and everything else, and it's just constant earnings. Okay, so right now, that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay with Panther swap. That's my main one. Octree, of course, has been the long staple on the channel. We're waiting for them to do their swap and their DEX aggregator. And this could be the next Panther swap in the making. And then, of course, Doppel just bringing up the rear and really just being that outlier in the market. All right, guys. So that's it. Hope you guys are doing well out there wherever you guys are in the world. And until the next time, we will talk again. Take care and take charge. Creative Crypto out.